Dr. Uh, Jill. She's our mobile vet this morning, and we're talking about basic snake care. Hi, Jill. Hi, good morning. How are you, Bethany? Oh, we're doing great. Thank you. So let's go ahead and talk about what people need to know if they're interested in adopting a snake and making the snake part of their family. Well, you know, they're not cuddly, but they're very interesting pets to have, and they're relatively low in cost to maintain. This little snake here is from Madagascar, and uh, it's a female. They, uh, they purchased her for about $65 a couple years ago. She's only a couple years old, but to feed them, really isn't that expensive when you figure how much the cost of dog and cat food is runs about ten bucks a month for this little gal she eats uh... she i, I want to make a point she actually eats frozen food she's not eating the live food they actually freeze the prey now for them which is much safer and it's not painful for the prey either it's already taken care of dr jill eric rucker in for paul robbins this morning talk about the type of snakes that maybe be for children or whomever uh, probably the ones that you would prefer them going out and having as a pet versus, I don't know, a python or boa constrictor or something else that could be far more dangerous. Right. Well, this is a boa, and, you know, it does make a good pet. They actually use this in schools. This is a, a learning snake, if you will. Not all snakes bite. You just have to get to know their personality. And, you know, if you have a snake that bites, it's probably not the one for you, especially if you have children. But, um, you know, you just need to go out. There's a reptile show. Educate yourself. I love this magazine. It's a pretty new magazine out called Herp Nation. They have a podcast also on the web that you can listen to, herpnation.com, if you want to familiarize yourself with snakes. It's a great resource. That's really interesting, and um, I think that one of our photographers with Fox 40 is actually, I think that that's his baby, that he created that magazine, Herb Nation. That's really interesting. He was talking about the podcast the other day. That's anyway. really cool. So, uh, yeah. Dr. Jill, what are some things that people might find surprising about snakes if, you know, they've never interacted with one before? Well, if you look on the table here, this is a shed from her, and they shed their skin quite frequently. Um, and you want to make sure when they shed that you don't mess with them too much because they can get cranky. So that's really important. A lot of people want to put their hands in the cage and feed them. Leave them alone. That's really important. Also water. Really important to have a bowl of water in their cage and it has to be accurate temperature. This is an animal from Madagascar so they live more in the desert areas. This is a perfect animal to have in Sacramento. Very similar to their native environment. And real quick before we let you go, are there any snakes that people would want to avoid having pets? I imagine a rattlesnake, for example, probably not going to be the best pet. Right. Rattlesnakes, not a good idea. Look and see. Like I said, check again. Constrictors are pretty good to have, but you want to make sure to avoid all venomous snakes, especially if there's kids around, because kids want to touch them and poke them. And they're cool animals, but you need to take note and be respectful of them. And, of course, keep them off of planes, right, Dr. Jill? Right, keep them off of planes, <laughs> exactly. All right, Dr. Jill, thank you. To schedule an appointment with Dr. Jill, check out her website, Dr. Jill with uh, a Y, J Y L dot com, or you can give her a call. Her number's there on the screen, 916 989 0738.